On ABC Radio Adelaide, South Australia and Broken Hill, it's Peter Gers. A couple of years ago, I saw a wonderful film by Michael Retter called Stanley's Mouth, made in this 916 format, known as the vertical format. Welcome to the show, Mike Retter. G'day, Peter. Now, you used to have the video store down there. Uh, yes, we did. It was the, the grounding of everything we do. Exactly. And it was uh, free. You could just go in there and take a video. Uh, no, it wasn't free, but we uh, were very uh, relaxed on return yes, policies. And, I know. I yeah. donated Harold and Maud for one, yep. which some, some bastard still got, I think. No, no. It, it did get returned. Oh, did yes. it? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> It remains in the collection. Where is it now, the collection? Uh, In a box packed away. Good. Hopefully the project gets resurrected at some point. Video stores were closing all over the place. You opened one there on the Black Diamond corner. And then you went on to make films. You're a filmmaker and you are very good, Mike. I enjoyed Stanley's Mouth and I liked this Youth on the March very much. It's about a kid uh, played by Ben Ryan. Hi, Ben. Hey, nice to be on. What's his name? Uh, Gil. Gil, that's right. And he lives with his mother and he smokes a lot of dope. <laughs> and uh, he has his mates and uh, they're out on the streets with shopping trolleys. It's, it's kind of, there's a bit of anarchy. There's a bit of a kind of he's, – he's a kind of bong. He's the bong generation, isn't he? Yeah. Um. How did you find Ben, Mike? Uh, ben uh – Used to work in a cafe, a really important cafe in Port Adelaide called Red Lime Shack. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I knew him when he was a little bit younger. Mm-hmm. And he was always asking questions about films, uh, what films to watch. Um, and he would actually watch them and tell me what he thought. Uh, he was obviously a very bright young kid. And, uh, and then a few years later, um, he auditioned for, for the role. And you know, mm. uh, transformed the project. How how close is he to you, uh, this Gil? Uh, I'd say there are a fair amount of differences, but um, on the whole, like it's it, certain scenes were like based off things I'd experienced in real life. Mostly just hanging out with mates and you know, just getting up to mischief. There's a scene in the film that, and it's a very appealing uh, a film. Considering there's very little dialogue, I mean, you don't speak until halfway through the film, do you? You know, he's this obstreperous, taciturn uh, adolescent because you're playing someone younger than you are. You, you're 19, and yes. the guy would be about 15, I suppose. Yeah, a little bit younger, yeah. Mm. And, you know, he's, it's in that really tricky age, isn't it, Mike? And that's what you wanted to. To, you're communicating this non-communication, and you, you just seem to understand. And this uh, this actor Ben, do you consider yourself an actor, Ben? Um, well, actually, right now I'm doing an apprenticeship uh, as a chef, but um, I I definitely love acting. Um, when it comes down to it, it's just you know you got to pay your rent. <laughs> well, of course you do, but I mean you've got something. There. He's incredible, isn't it? Isn't oh, thank he, you Mark? very much. Yeah, mm. it's a. Uh, uh, a raw talent, mm. uh, and I, I think it, it influenced the direction the film went in a, a great deal. Ninety mm. percent of directing is casting, of course. And do you? But were you writing it as you went, or you you had a script beforehand? Uh, we had a, a thirty-five page script. Mm. Uh, usually, scripts are about ninety pages, uh, one yep. minute per page, um, and it was mostly visual ideas uh, and a sort mm-hmm. of a, a, a narrative and a structure. But mm. th- there were scenes that were uh, quite improvised. There's a scene where um, Ben makes a bong just out of a bottle and a, yep. and a, a, I think a texter. Um, mm. and, and that was simply because we needed one for the film mm. and I just turned the camera on to film him doing it. There's a lot of dope smoking in it. Are you actually smoking dope? Oh, it? no. Um, we used uh, something called Damiana, which... What's that? I hate to spoil the magic, um, but there was no. There, it, was, no, no, no. it was all this. Uh, Damiana is like a, a harmless herb that oh. you can buy from certain shops, and it's it's quite horrible to smoke. And I, I thank all the actors for smoking mm-hmm. it take after take. Yeah. Yes, because you couldn't be off your face. No. <laughs> and filming just scenes that you you just inhabit this guy's character. You know, you I, I believed in you absolutely, uh, Ben, and that is. You know, that's, it's that suspension of belief when we watch something. We want you know, th- that we believe you are it. When you, you're licking the 
using your finger to get the peanut paste out of the... And you're just eating a whole jar of peanut paste with the munchies, I suppose. The scene, which I think is the best scene in the movie, um, where they, these you and your mates, Ben, are sort of... Um, uh, it's hard to say on air what they're doing, but they're sort of mock... Um, they're humping each other. They're humping each other. <laughs> exactly. And I thought, ah, this is Kubrick. It, it was like Kubrick. The use of music throughout is very Kubrick-esque and the soundscape, fantastic. But later on you reference Kubrick. You've got him and his mother sitting there watching Clockwork Orange, haven't you? Which, yep. was, uh, which, which was exactly right. You, you clearly like Kubrick. Sure, sure. Uh, just one of those uh, touchstones uh, film. Mm. Uh, I think 2001 is kind of like the archetypal experimental film mm. uh, and almost every experimental film kind of has a, a period of ambiguity, strong sound effects and, you know. It's, you know these kids uh, and you were playing one of them, I presume. Are you from the port? Um, I'm from all around really, but uh, I did, yeah, I lived in the port for a few years. Mm. Because it's really uh, it's a pain to Port Adelaide, the same as your Stanley's mouth, wasn't it? It's of the port, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost entirely shot in Port Adelaide, uh, a little bit down at Semaphore. Um, but I, I think, like uh, in the writing process, the the all the all the ideas come from my sort of adolescence in Nalunga, mm. uh, Hackham, Morfitt Vale, down south. Mm. But I think it's all relatable in the suburbs, and um, I just wanted to make a film ab- about suburbia uh, that, that, that was uh, there's, authentic. There's a kind of nihilism in this wasted generation, isn't there? And this has been going on for quite some time. Is it something you grow out of, Mike? Uh, uh, what's your experience of it, Ben? Um, I think it just comes from, like, desensitisation. Yeah. Mm. Um, just having access to things that, like, people traditionally haven't. Mm. Um but I think it's sort of naive to misjudge it as just you know not giving, a, not caring, or no, uh, no. or uh, just being indifferent. Um, it's more just uh, a feeling of like directional directionlessness, um, mm-hmm. not knowing where to go or what to do, um, which I think I tried to embody. Oh, and you get very well. And and the film is sort of open ended, like all great pieces of art. We begin, we imagine what's gone before. You know, there's no father figure there, but you know, we imagine, we imagine the, the, these, this life before, and we imagine what's happening to him afterwards, and it's sort of all contained there, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I, I hope it's not a completely downer. Uh, no, uh, it's not. It's sometimes yeah. very funny, mm. and it's it's also very warm, and it's not disrespectful. It's not saying these kids what they're doing is wrong at all, is it? Uh, no, I I think uh, that there's a lot of uh, complex stuff that's implied. You, you're mm. right. There's no father there, uh, and you know his um, uh, m- uh, mother, played by Stephanie Rossi, uh, is absent a lot, a lot of the time because she's a workaholic. Yes, yeah, she's working and, very hard. And maybe mm. there's a lack of discipline at home, and mm. you know naturally you'll do what you do. But you, you yeah, it, it's. Um, I think it, it's a, it's an archetype. When I was young, I, I used to spend time at this home. Uh, where uh, a, a guy lived with his mum, and we used to s- smoke pot, smoke bongs in mm. the living room. Mm. She would walk in and walk out and be gone for three days. Uh, you know, it, it's an archetype. It's really common. Mm-hmm. You know, sure. really common. How you seem to understand because both of your films have been about young people. You seem to have a, 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 an understanding of youth, Mike. Where does that come from? Well, I'm, I'm only just becoming an old person, <laughs> um, so. <laughs> Uh, oh. you, you know, like you, you just you think about these things as you get older. Mm. They, they become maybe more interesting um, that, than than when you're going through it. You, you start to think about it. And why the nine sixteen ratio? Well, uh, Stanley's mouth was a great um, circuit breaker to get me making films. Mm. That was a vertical film, um, but I did have some regrets with the way it was shot. And I just wanted to nail it. I wanted to make it so. This is it's like a letterbox format, but on, vertically. Yeah, it, a, a vertical portrait shape. Mm, mm. Um, I think I just wanted to keep going and, and, mm, and get better. Are other people making films in this format? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I think this is the first uh, feature-length narrative uh, in the, in the world 
that I'm aware of, but, mm-hmm. but there, there might be others. I mean, if you think about it, more people are shooting vertical than anything because they're using their phones and everyone's exactly. recording on their phones. Yes. So there'd be like billion, yes. you know, millions of hours yeah, sure. of, of, of footage mm-hmm. just in the last few years, mm-hmm. I think. How do you fund this, Mike? Oh, it's soup. Like we, we just give people soup. Mm-hmm. Like there was no money. Uh, mm-hmm. This had less money than the last film. But how do you do that? I mean, it has to have some money and you just sort of kick in. Oh, it's re- uh, you make it on a digital camera. Yeah, I, mm. I, I, I use the same camera I used last time, mm. same computer I've owned since mm. 2008 um, for, for editing. It's a beautiful piece of work. This is um, Youth on the March, and its director and writer is Michael Retter and star Ben Ryan. Where can people see it? Uh, it will play at the Adelaide Film Festival. Mm. Uh, the, the program is being announced on the 29th mm. of August. Uh, and you can check uh, for details at the Adelaide Film Festival dot org. Um, mm. But uh, so yeah, we'll find out the date soon. It's a fantastic piece of work, and Ben, you should be very proud because whatever happens in your life, you can look back on that and, th- and think, "I did something great there. I did something wonderful. I did something beautiful." Oh, well, thank you very mm. much. Good luck to you, Ben Ryan and Michael Retter. Look out for Youth on the March. ABC Radio Adelaide on 891 AM, digital radio and the ABC Radio app.